If you take a look here behind me at Bald Rock Heritage Preserve, you can see just a small portion of the graffiti that is here. And this is something that those we spoke with hope to address long term. At Bald Rock Heritage Preserve in Cleveland, visitors enjoy the peaceful views overlooking the upstate. But below, on the rock beneath their feet, colorful graffiti of various designs and words. I am told that the graffiti began when all graffiti began in the late 70s. Susan Jordan with the nonprofit Friends of Bald Rock Heritage Preserve says the graffiti and litter have been a problem at Bald Rock for decades. Right now, the uh, vegeta areas of vegetation are trampled uh, by visitors and there's glass all, all over the place um, and anything that gets in the stream is impacting that water quality. Over the past year, the organization has worked to clean up the area, picking up thousands of pounds of litter and pressure washing the graffiti. But now the organization is working with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources and a team at Clemson University to come up with ideas for a more long-term solution. The goal of the whole project is to enhance the safe public use of the property while protecting the natural resources. It's going to be a cultural shift, um, a different mindset of how, what this site is. Paul Russell with Clemson says they're looking at several different things, including how people use the area, ways to make it a spot for hikers, and how to change visitors' behavior. There's no silver bullet or immediate fix to the situation there. We're trying to make long-term cultural change uh, and really kind of shift the way people behave on the site and, and teach them and educate them along the way about the value and importance of the ecology and that this special space. And the nonprofit is reminding people in the community to do their part to keep this area clean. That means when you come out here to enjoy it, leave it the way that you found it. If you want to learn more about the plans for this study or provide any feedback, you can visit our website, WYFF4.com. In Greenville County, Jennifer Reddy, WYFF News 4.